I'm going to show you today how to play a game called Integer War. There's two types of Integer War, Addition and Multiplication. What I'm going to show you today is the Addition version. They have the same rules, so once you learn one, you can easily switch to the other. In order to play, you need a standard set of cards. If there's one or two missing from the deck, that's not a problem because things won't be partnered up. To play, you'll have black cards worth positive values, and you'll have red cards worth negative values. So this card would be worth positive 2, and this card would be worth negative 9. Also when you play, you need to give things a value. If there's no number on it, make it worth 10. So all of these cards would have a value of 10. This, of course, would be a positive 10 because it's black. And these three would be negative because they're red. If it doesn't have the face card on it, you use the number. So again, this would be worth positive 2, and this would be worth negative 9. There are other ways that you could play. Some people play with this being worth 1, or negative 1 in this case because it's red. This would be 11. This would be 12. This would be 13. But we like to play with these all equaling 10 because it makes for more wars and a more exciting game. That's something that you'll have to decide among the people that are playing before you begin. So you take the cards, shuffle the deck, and split them so that each person gets half of the deck. We've played this with three players, but it's a little bit more confusing, so we like to stick with just a two-player game. So each person has half of the deck. To begin, you each flip up your top card, and you're looking at who has the greater absolute value. Is positive 10 further from 0 than negative 9? Yes, this one has the higher absolute value, so this is the player that's going to have to do the work. Since we're playing addition war, we're going to add positive 10 plus negative 9. And the answer, of course, is positive 1. If this person was correct, they would get both of the cards. But if this person was wrong and the other player catches them, then this player would get the cards. And play continues. Here again, we'll compare a negative 10 and a positive 2. Who has the higher absolute value? That's right. 10 is further away from 0 than 2. So again, this person will have to add negative 10 plus positive 2 gives a negative 8. Now let me see. Oh, this worked out perfectly. In this case, both cards have the same absolute value. They're both 10 away from 0, which creates our first war. So each player places three cards face down to spell out war, and then you flip up the top card. You're now going to work with just these top cards. So you compare. Who's further from zero? Positive 10 or positive 2? Well, positive 10 is further from zero, so what's 2 plus 10? 12. This person, if they were correct with 12, would get all of the cards involved in that play. Now, there are situations where you will get multiple wars. So let's say these were the cards that came up trying to show you what this looks like, so I've got to go through and rig the game a little bit. Okay? In the cards they flipped up, W, A, R, again, these have the same value. So we would have to go to a double war. W, A, R, and then flip cards up again. Now we would look at only the top cards, the positive 4 and the positive 7. Since this side has the greater absolute value, we'll add the two cards positive 7 plus positive 4 is positive 11. This player, if correct, gets all of the cards involved. And you continue playing until one player has all of the cards in the deck. If you want to switch and play multiplication war instead of addition war, the same rules apply, the same procedures apply. You'll just be multiplying the cards instead of adding.